Hi everyone, Doc Mitch here. Now, noticing that you have a fishy odor coming from down there is something that's very stressful. But you know what? It's very easy to treat. So let's talk about this now. It's called bacterial vaginosis. So, ano ba tong bacterial vaginosis? Actually, as I've said in my previous video, diba, the vaginal health is maintained by maintaining an acidic pH of 3.8 to 4.2. And this acidic pH will actually now maintain the balance between the good bacteria, which is the lactobacilli, and the bad bacteria, which are the anaerobes. So, what happens if there's an imbalance? Ang nangyayari, mas maraming anaerobes kaysa sa lactobacilli. And when this occurs, bacterial vaginosis happens. So, how do you know if you have bacterial vaginosis? What are the signs and symptoms? Now, most patients complain of noticing um, a fishy odor coming from their vagina. Okay, medyo malansa yung amoy, parang sirang itlog. Yun ang, yun ang actually description na karamihan na binibigay ng mga patients. Next, they have this wet or wet feeling lagi. So, ang discharge nila parang laging basa. And if you look at it, it's it's a uh, dirty white to light gray to sometimes greenish. And then, patients may also notice uh, pain and burning sensation during urination. Pero, meron din namang mga patients na walang nararamdaman or walang napapansin. Ang nakikita lang nila or ang sinasabi lang nila sa amin pag nagko-consult is, Doc, after sexual intercourse, parang sobrang mabaho yung discharge na para pong bulok na isda ang lumalabas sa vagina namin. That's why they seek consult. Special note lang ha, for pregnant women who actually complain of uh, fishy having a fishy odor, it's very important that they get tested ASAP kasi Pregnant women who have bacterial vaginosis are more prone to miscarriage, so madali silang makunan, um, pwedeng early um, delivery or preterm delivery, and pwedeng magkaroon ng infection after delivery. So again, it's very important that they get tested. But in general naman, if you have these kinds of symptoms, go see your OB agad para matest na kayo. So, how do we diagnose bacterial vaginosis? Now, your doctor actually can do several things or several tests um, for us to be able to identify kung meron ka nga talagang bacterial vaginosis. Very important that you have your pap smear or kung hindi man pap smear at may discharge ka, lang ta may discharge ka talaga, ang pwedeng gawin ng doctor miss number one, we can actually do the wet mount wherein we get a sample of the discharge from your vagina and then we look at it under the microscope. Um, um, and then we look for what we term as clue cells. Pag it, these are like vaginal cells na surrounded by mga white blood cells, okay? So, or surrounded by bacteria. So, um, this is actually an indication that you have bacterial vaginosis. The next test, okay, the second test will be the whiff test. Now, ano to? We get your vaginal discharge again and then we add a certain solution and if it actually emits a fishy odor, then that's actually diagnostic of bacterial vaginosis. There are some doctors who also check the pH of the vagina. Now, being uh, able to actually get a pH that's higher than 4.2 or it's more basic may actually um, make us lean more towards uh, the diagnosis of bacterial vaginosis. Now, one very important question, Doc, paano ito nakukuha or paano spread? There's really no study that says na um, it's spread to sexual contact. However, having a new sexual partner or having multiple partners can actually put you at risk. Douching is also um, something that when you do often, makes you more prone to uh, bacterial vaginosis. Bakit? Diba when you douche, lilinisan mo yung loob ng vagina mo, so tanggal lahat ng mga bacteria na dapat andun, pat pati na yung good bacteria. So, if your immune system is very low, then there may be an overgrowth of the bad bacteria and then boom! May bacterial vaginosis ka na. Okay? Now, Doc, um, do I need or do I need to have my partner treated kung meron akong bacterial vaginosis? Studies have shown na hindi naman kailangan actually i-treat ang partner um, kung sakaling may bacterial vaginosis ka. But it's very important that you get tested for other um, infections kasi having bacterial vaginosis can make you actually prone to other STDs or sexually transmitted diseases. 
diseases. Maybe some of you may ask, do I get it in the toilet or sa swimming pools or using public um, baths and everything? No, you do not get bacterial vaginosis when you swim in a public swimming pool. You don't get bacterial vaginosis when you use the public toilets. Um, that's not how it's transmitted. So, how do you treat bacterial vaginosis? Sabi ko nga at the start of the video, di ba? Sobrang dali siya i-treat. Ang kailangan lang, you have to follow our instructions. So, we can either give you an oral medication or a medication that's inserted per vagina. Usually, what we give is metronidazole. Um, however, sometimes kasi pag bacterial vaginosis ang nangyayari, it's a mixed infection. Ibig sabihin, may iba pang organisms na present that is causing actually um, problems also. So, what we give is a preparation of medicine that is a combination of two different medicines that attack these bacteria. So, um, depending on our physical examination, uh, magdi-decide kami ano, kung anong klaseng gamot ang dapat para sa iyo at ano ang tama para sa iyo. So, it's very important, take home ito na message that you actually consult your doctor and then make sure that you get examined kasi yun na nga, the, the treatment will actually depend on what we see and what we observe and what we find out. Okay? So, and it's also very important, let me just um, uh, stress this, that when we give you a certain regimen, say for example, 7 days, you need to finish the 7 days, okay? Even if on the 3rd or 4th day, you feel better already and wala ka nang nararamdaman, it's best to finish the 7 days para hindi pa ulit-ulit ang sakit or hindi siya magtuloy-tuloy na hindi lalong matreat. So, dito kasi, ito yung cause kasi ng paulit-ulit na infection kung hindi natitreat completely ang isang problema. Okay, so, it's also very important that you use a feminine wash that will actually promote you in developing or uh, maintaining an acidic pH. As I've said, bacterial vaginosis, ang pH nga medyo mas mataas ng konti. So, we need to bring it back to the normal pH of 3.8 to 4.2 for us to be able to fight the bacteria or the infection more effectively. So, with that, hopefully you've learned a lot from this short video and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye! And don't forget to subscribe! God bless you all! Bye-bye!